True or false, in 2022, a man was sent to prison for farting in a police officer's face. <laughs> true. That was so actually true. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How would you do that? You probably like that. <laughs> true. Is it? Yes. <laughs> he was Winning for the win. sent down for three years. No oh, way. Three years? Yeah, oh, come three on. Years. Lockwood & Co. is a recently released thriller series about the most talented teenage ghost hunters who journey nightly into dangerous combat with deadly spirits. And someone had given me a bit of advice that morning going, don't eat the biscuits, because you'll have to eat about a hundred of them. But it was my, me and Ali had to eat the biscuits. We did have to eat the biscuits. And it was biscuits. like a really hot summer's day and they were like, quite dry and crumbling. Yeah, yeah. like, hell, like. <laughs> in 2017, it was announced that Nira Park and Rachel Pryor had optioned the rights to Jonathan Stroud's Lockwood & Co. book series while at Big Talk Productions. You said, much cooler, <laughs> much better at sword fighting than me. I'm for you, Ali. Ali, you've had a long time to think about this. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm probably sure <laughs> about that right? sentence. <laughs> See, I'm not that cool. Um, uh, she is fiercely loyal and loving. That's four. I, I, I did a little filler word yeah. and... <laughs> Today we wanted to look at the cast of this new show and enjoy some of the bloopers and funny moments along the way. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with some moments from interview games. True or false, a woman in China found out her husband had cheated on her and was so angry that she cut off his penis twice. This is true, this is I think. Oh, twice? Hold on, hold on. Twice. Did it re -cry? What? Yeah, like a, like a lizard. Wait, do they? Wait, cut it off twice? <laughs> like a lizard. How yeah, did they, they, the tail. We can also look at other moments from BuzzFeed. Mine is a really scary emoji. I'm having to My ride days. it out because My it's days. awful. Okay. Yay. Hey. Yours is brilliant. Oh, crying off emoji. If anything's like funny, I'm like, oh, like emoji. Or if it's like, you know, sad, it's apt. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. How many books consist in the series? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. But no, you guys were very nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this. No, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I remember thinking you were really cool and you were really cool and then finding out that nothing Actually, could not be true. more untrue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, this Netflix series stars Ruby Stokes, Cameron Chapman, and Ali Haji Hajmati, who play the part of finding this so-called ghost within the story. Now, with eight episodes within this series, it doesn't specifically say that this is a mini-series and there may be a second season coming. Ali was being handed milk and biscuits. Yeah, that was in the scene, I thought. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Was it? Shot for the cup and missed yeah. by quite a way. By no, quite a way? Milk. <laughs> but with it just days being released at the time of this recording, we're just gonna have to wait a little longer to determine if there's more story to tell, or if the creators, director William McGregor and Joe Cornish, will continue the story in their own way. That is true. Oh. Yeah. That is true. Uh, the man was sent to hospital where it was reattached, uh, but the woman snuck back into the hospital and cut it off again. No, no way! So that's how it was twice! Oh, what a vendetta! <laughs> it's wow. iconic, really, isn't it? What did he do, though? Cheated. That's a film. The fact that these episodes follow the events of the first two books, so more than likely more seasons are to come with more story to tell. Even though what mine is. That's a tricky one. Okay, I'll just do that. Oh no. What is that say? Mm. Okay. Got it. I said a pigeon. <laughs> what? A pigeon? pigeon? Why? <laughs> because I spent a lot of time in the city. And along the way, we can look at some more interesting moments when the cast has to doodle their way through an interview and answer the questions asked of them with drawings. Really scared of how suspect this is gonna look. The quality of your brain, look at them. This is harder than I've ever seen them work. <laughs> and your 20 seconds is up, Cameron Chapman. It is Lockwood's rapier. That is, good. Good. that is really good. That is really good. I mean, it looks like a lawn sprinkler, but also- You can't like judge rapier. art like that. It's curvy. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page, linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. It is true. Oh, yeah. Wow. How cool. <laughs> how cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like, just- Don't check promote. Ruby's Yeah, don't, yeah. not promote it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's cool in terms of like, what a story. Yeah, what a tell. cool story. Yeah. It's a great story. And great for this. And some of the cast members answer some questions regarding each other in terms of their biggest fears. Who is the biggest scaredy cat out of out of you guys? Definitely myself. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> were there any times when you were terrified on this 
on this set? Yeah, for sure. Apparently they weren't. And it was, I was spooky, yeah. yeah it, was it was spooky. spooky. It was spooky. It was, I think it was terrifying. <laughs> it I mean, was. I still think that. And some fans nowadays seem to have an interesting take on this whole thing of bringing another book adaption alive with a group of young cast and a female lead looking for a ghost. No, I mean, <laughs> no. it's a hard life. It Besides was biscuit eating, <laughs> yeah. we learned. Biscuits were so dry. Yeah, honestly. No, honestly uh, we learned sword fighting, stunt fighting, and biscuits. yeah, it was, it was so and much biscuits. fun. And biscuits. <laughs> However, coming from the writer of Ant-Man, he obviously done something right when putting this all together at the end of the day. Lockwood & Co. has a perfect 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes right now from the limited critical reviews in. Santa in church? That's wrong, no? What? Like, why is Santa? Yeah, it's kind it's of, about Jesus, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's, Christmas isn't about the Santa coming down your chimney, is it? It's about the nativity and that. So Christmas. I, but guys, Santa is from Christian, like... Are we not on the same wavelength here? Santa. But most impressively, it's hanging on to a 98% audience score, among the highest we've seen on Netflix. Much he didn't care about expressing that passion. He could walk into a room and wouldn't say hi to anyone, but would just start ranting about the problem and really gr gruesome stuff. Is that a word? Gruesome. Gruesome. <laughs> yes, it is a word. Okay. It doesn't mean anything, but... <laughs> The book author, Jonathan Strode, actually gave us insight into what his thoughts were when transforming his world of ghosts into the real world for people to visually see, and says there's some comedy along the way. You're gonna get comedy, you're gonna get horror, adventure, drama. Maybe you should leave it to the adults before somebody dies. No one died, and no one will whilst I'm in charge. You're not in charge, I am. It's an extraordinary experience to be somewhere so real and so detailed. We can also see some more funny moments between the cast and producer Joe Cornish some great young actors on the big mm. screen before. How, how did these guys compare? Well, I do have a rating system at home, but I think it would be, <laughs> be unfair to tell them where they ranked on the Joe Cornish <laughs> you Young didn't Actor tell me one actually. <laughs> did they? Fourth, I think. Fourth, there you go. Since this series has released, some people are more than eager to know what else the show to the books could follow. In TV speaking terms, that would mean a season two. Netflix usually announces a renewal within one or two months of premiering a new show. Oh my god, keep a lid on it. And then I just went upstairs and went, oh, he's, um, yeah, you know those auditions I've been going to? I, god, I got the wrong. And they're like, oh wow, well, oh, that's great, yeah. And then that can take anywhere between 12 to 18 months to produce from start to finish. With it still being early, it can take some time to announce another season in the future. And the young adults of the series elaborate why there is comedy within this and how they cope with trying to find and stop this ghost. Yeah, we had the schmoo. We had the schmoo. We had an LED mannequin that we were nicknamed it the schmoo. Yeah, it was sort of a puppet um, that 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 it had a really short attention span. Yeah, <laughs> it had a really short attention span, so it was a little bit difficult at times. It was a bit of a diva. They also tried to draw their own character from the show, which was pretty interesting. Looks there from Chapman. <laughs> oh my feet! Really, my feet ruined it. Ready to reveal? Three, two, one. Show us. Look at that. <laughs> No, Joe. Hair's on point. Oh, give me a The impressionism, break. the jawline. This is brilliant. How did you do that in yeah, 20 seconds? Second. They continue to talk about the shooting locations and the witty dialogue and overall the fun they had shooting certain scenes. Read the first couple of like 100 pages on Google Reads and you know, I immediately love the character. I love that it's a, a young female kind of narrating this story and you see it from her viewpoint, um, especially in the books. The simplistic but effective world building is partly why Cornish was drawn to help create Lockwood & Co. It's a supernatural fantasy series, but one which tangently examines the actual economic and social consequences of quote-unquote the problem, as it's known in the show, or the fact that deadly ghosts now aggressively haunt the world. Around and around. Isn't that one? <laughs> I was thinking that. I was thinking that. I know what I'm going to go for. No way. Yeah. I thought that said Viagra. Viagra. <laughs> I thought it said Viagra. Well I'm done. Them up at this point. There's something Dickensian about the idea of kids being sent to do the dirty work of adults, and then the fact that Lockwood is the only agency that isn't supervised by adults, said Cornish. So you're just stacking these little story points on top of each other, and very quickly, ex exponentially, start to get a really brilliant world. Yeah. Who, who the fuck made that up? Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, I'm not happy. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> you are very creative and imaginative. I could never come up with that. I quite like that. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the Lockwood & Co. book series consists of a total of five books. The Screaming Staircase, The Whispering Skull, The Hollow Boy, The Creeping Shadow, and The Empty Grave. Well, there are five books. Mm -hmm. Season one uh, encompasses the first two books. So we think there's definitely, you know, two more seasons we'd love to make uh, out of the out of the remaining books. So what do you guys think about all this? Have you seen this series yet? And what do you expect from a second season? Should Netflix decide to do so before they cancel anything? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Time is up. I mean, that's not long enough to capture my complexities, but <laughs> that's copyright free music. Thank you.